Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 36 of our classic career survival series. We've been up here in the Arctic for a while now and we need to build something to get us back to Turbital Spy Cakes. So today we're going to be building a turboprop plane roughly basing the shape of a Saab 340. This episode, the plan is to get the fuselage built so then next episode we can add the jet engines and get it close to being able to fly. But anyways guys, as always, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, once again, here we are in the workbench. Let's get stuck straight into it. So I think the plan is I'm gonna start building the top of the nose first up towards the windscreen. Then we're gonna come back and do the bottom and then see how we go from there. Um, so what we'll do, we'll grab some little wedges first, some little baby ones, and we'll chuck them right here. And then we'll get a couple of these so we can build off them. We'll just come out a few blocks. We'll get rid of them after. Let's grab some one by twos maybe. And we might come out three block or three lengths worth of the wedges. We'll get rid of all of that. Okay, something like this, because the nose on these planes aren't the, all that long. So we'll try and do our best to replicate that. Um, and then we'll maybe, we might go a little bit wider than that. We'll see how we go. Anyways, let's grab another little wedge, sit on the top like so. And then we're going to need, let's go back to here, a couple of these bad boys. So we're going to come up this way. And then what we'll do, we'll come, or we'll come up first. So maybe like that. And then we'll go one in here as well. And we'll come up to, can I bring that up a bit? Yep, just like that. Awesome, then we'll come down like so, and then we'll grab a couple of these little wedges and fill in the nose here. We'll come up like so and get rid of that little piece in there. Does it need to be there? Then we're going to grab some little baby ones and we'll fill in that little piece like that. So that has got to somehow link up to a windscreen. So <laughs> we'll see how we go with that. I wonder if we can, I might try a couple of these. We'll come around, put one, will these line up with that? No, they won't. How are we going to do this? Oh, you know what we could do actually? We can fit these little one by ones in this little area. Uh, let's turn them around. They fit. Yes, they do. Okay, let's go with that and that will come up towards the windscreen That could be pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. I don't think yeah We'll go with that for now and then we'll suppose we'll put some of these on the edge of that and that will be the width of the plane Oh, it's not very wide. Is it? We might go one wider Do we just finish off the top of this as well if we just come along like That and then we are gonna need one more of these right here, too. So we we'll go like this we we'll just fill that in for now. And then we're going to have the windscreen sitting up here. So maybe real quick, we could chuck a little windscreen in, actually. It's probably not a bad idea. What if we have those ones that come down? I'll show you what I mean. Grab some of these. Now, one of these would be pretty cool right here. Can we not fit that in? Yes, we can like that. Okay, and then we need those weird kind of diamond pieces to fit in there. Which one would that be? Oh, yep, it's this one here that will go right there. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And then we need one of these in like a one block wide piece, I think. Uh, so maybe one of these. Let's see if that fits in there pretty well. That is not the right thing, is it? <laughs> we need an angle. Uh, one by three by one. Nope, that's not it. Which one? This one? Yep, that's it. That looks a little bit better. <laughs> um, well, while we're up here, what we could probably do, if we come along like this. Yeah, uh, ooh, I don't know. Maybe we'll put one of these little wedges in the top up there. And then can we get like a one by two to fit on the top of there? Maybe if we use some of these, uh, or rather, we'll just fill that in for a second. Chuck one of these in those little corners like that. And then we'll get a one by two wedge and sit it right there. Yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> let's leave it like that for a minute. We'll see how we go. Let's get rid of all of this and that, no, no, not those ones, just these ones in the middle there. I think there, no, they can go too. Very good. So what we'll do, we're going to come back to this. Let's just get the bottom of this sorted first. So maybe down here, what we could do, let's do a similar thing. We might start off with a little one by one wedge under here. And then we're going to need some of these as well. So turn them around. Yes. And then we'll suppose we'll just have to do some more of these one by twos in here because nothing else will really fit, will it? So maybe we'll bring these all the way out to there. Okay. I don't mind that. And then can we fit some one by fours down here? I think we'll be able to actually. Let's go with some of these ones. Um, we'll turn them around, go like that and get rid of these. And then we'll put some of them in its place so maybe we could come out like that yeah that's pretty cool i like that and then we could maybe fill in that bottom piece like so then we'll come along like this and we need to somehow make all this link up so maybe underneath here let's grab some more of these one by twos that can be the bottom of the plane go along like this i think yeah that's not too bad i don't mind that i do think we should make the plane a little bit wider though so maybe if we chuck some of these on can i get these to go the way i need them please <laughs> like this we can make it a little bit more rounded. That will bring it a little bit wider too. Okay, I don't mind this. So maybe we can bring that to about there perhaps. And then can we use some of these? Let's try and make it kind of come out gradually if we can. Uh, that needs to go that way. And then we could probably come up a couple of wedges underneath the window. Something like this. That's not too bad. And then that can actually be as wide as the plane will be. That looks a little bit better, I think. I don't mind that. 
And we've got a few pieces in here that can go too, or all of that can go, and that can go. Any of this as well, yep, some more pieces in here, in up to there, okay, that's everything. And then coming off the top of here, if we have a little window sitting behind us, let's chuck a little, maybe a two by three in there. Yeah, that's plenty of window space in it. And then we can grab a couple more little wedges in the front here. So if we go like this, that will come out to match the rest of the width of the plane. That's not too bad. And then we'll come up like this, cool. And then we'll go back and we'll grab some of these. They can sit on the top there. And maybe the top of the plane can be slightly rounded as well. If we chuck some of these on, that's not too bad. So we'll go along like that. But anyway, we'll keep going with the front of this thing, I think. Maybe if we chuck some of these in like that, we'll bring this along. Yeah, that will actually match up, won't it? If we come around like this, go along like so. We just need to do something about this bit here. So let me see what I can come up with. All right, so something just like that, I think looks okay. And we'll just fill in the roof. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. We'll, we'll get, leave it like that for now. And we'll fill in the bottom of that. Now we need to bring the whole plane forward a little bit because we're gonna start making this thing a little bit longer now. So what we'll probably do, I have absolutely no idea how long this should be, by the way. But if we just go something like that and then it starts coming in back here, I think it should be all right. We can always change it later on. We'll see how we go. Yeah, we'll bring these back up, go all the way along. And we'll do the same thing with the roof, whoop, all the way to there. And we'll just fill it in like so. And then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. All right, so we have quite a long tube now. <laughs> I don't mind it at all. So what we might do, I might make a little bit of a hole back here. So this is where it's going to start coming up. So maybe if we, or let's just go to the front page of all the parts, grab some little wedges, and we might come up, or oh, something like this. Let's see how we go. I don't want to do too much and not like it. Something like that. Okay, we'll just fill in that little piece in the middle too. Very good. Now we've got some parts that we can, oh, I didn't put that in. Yeah, boop, cool. And we've got some parts we can fit in here, which is good. So maybe we'll come up like, that yeah that's not too bad we do need to do something with the side of this though i don't know how we're gonna maybe that's not gonna link together can we just come up like this it's gonna leave a bit of a flat spot isn't it uh, uh, uh. <laughs> see how we go let's get rid of this as well and we'll get a few more little wedges and we might just come up like that yeah and then we'll just fill that little piece in because that would just be flat up until there and we've got a few bits we can fill in here too so something like this that's not too bad so after that, what we could probably do, we might grab some one by twos and we're gonna come up like this on both of them, I think. And then we might go with some solid blocks along here. Yes, and then we're gonna go with one of these, I think is what we need to go right there. Okay, and then it will be one by fours along there. So that will come up a little bit more, maybe two more times it will come up. I'm not sure, we'll see how we go. So we're gonna need some of these now, some one by fours. We're gonna come along like this and we'll fill in the bottom piece while we're here. Boop, awesome. And we'll put a couple of blocks in there too. And then for the final part, I think we might just come up with no curvage on it. I don't think we need any more. Uh, so we'll just go up like this. Very good, get rid of those two pieces. And that will be the back of the plane. Or maybe we should put something on here to kind of finish it off a little bit. It probably wouldn't hurt. Maybe we could just go like this even. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. So I've just put some sort of little cone piece on the back there to kind of end it off a little bit. Now we need to try and do the rudder and the elevators on the back. So let's start on making our way back. Uh, we'll fill that in with one of these, I think. Now we have to sort of try and make this look as best as possible. I don't really know how to do that. So we'll see how we go. Let's go like this. We need to make it come down slightly to the elevators, but it's also going to go up to the rudder. So let's see how we go with this. All right, I think that is starting to look pretty good. We might start putting elevators on next. So what we'll do, this whole area here is going to be where they come off. So if we go like this, that's our little part to build off. <laughs> so let's go with that. Now what we could do, I don't want it to be joining on straight. So maybe we could put on some sort of little wedge, maybe starting here. Should be fine. So we'll get a little wedge out. We'll just turn it around, something like that for now. And then at the front here, we might put a couple more. So we might go like this. And then we could possibly fill all that in like so. And then maybe we could come out a couple of blocks first. Then we'll come in a little bit more. Maybe maybe four blocks should be fine. We'll chuck another one on like this. And then we'll end it off with a little one by one wedge. Just a little baby one. We'll stick it right on the end just there. Very good. So that will be the end of the wing. Uh, so the elevator rather. We'll just go like that. And then I don't like how it looks so boxy here. So maybe we can get rid of a couple here like this and we'll put another one of these on like that and then we'll have the control flap itself in this area. Will that come up to about there? Maybe, maybe one more, one more. Control surface, let's chuck one of these in see what it looks like. Just a small one to start with. Let's see. Yep, that fits in there perfectly. We might bring it out one more though because if I can't do that, so I have to put a piece in first and then we'll chuck one back in there. Turn that around and boom. 
perfect. That almost looks good. I don't know. I don't mind that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's start with this rudder now. So what we could do with that, what have we got at the back here? A one by two. So maybe we'll make the back of the plane stick out a little bit. And then we might start coming up with the rudder about here. Should be fine. So what we could probably do, let's chuck a couple blocks in like this. And then we'll come up a little bit more. And then maybe if some of these will come upside down and we'll drag them up until we think it's tall enough. So maybe let's start with that. That looks actually a pretty good height, actually. I don't mind that. And then the front of this, we need to make it start angling back up towards it. So maybe with some one by fours, we could start coming up maybe about here, do you think? Oh, something like this. And then maybe we can go on a steeper angle towards the back. That's not too bad, actually. I don't mind that. Uh, maybe we'll go with some of these little ones. We'll come up like this. That's the same height. That actually looks pretty good. I don't mind that at all. Or maybe we can come up one more again to kind of make it angle back. And then back here can come towards the front. That's not too bad. Let's get rid of all the excess pieces in the middle that do not need to be here. Just like this. Get rid of those two. And we'll just fill all this in if we can. So we might say that the back is finished for now, I'm pretty sure. We do need a rudder in here somewhere. I don't know how we're going to do that on such an angle though. Unless maybe we could do like a little cheat. We could probably put some little control surfaces on the wings or something. Some of these ones. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, we don't actually have any of them unlocked, so we will have to use a rudder. But maybe we could chuck one of these either inside the wing here, or we could even put it in here. I think it will still have the same effect if we chuck it in there, and then we'll never see it. A couple of options we could do. We could put one like right there, sort of what I mean. We'll never see it on the outside. Um, we'll keep our options open. We might just leave it for now, though. We'll worry about that next video. Alrighty, so as far as the main wings go, let's start off by going underneath here. We're going to grab a couple of wedges out. We're going to turn these up this way, and we might just go along like that. Now, the actual wings are going to be on separate bodies because they're going to be angled up um, a little bit, so sort of slightly on an angle upwards. So we'll see how we go with that. Now, let's make a little spot to put these little pieces. So we'll maybe go one there and one there. Should be fine. So we're going to need some hinges, are they called? Yep, some of these ones. Now, we'll turn them around this way, one there and one right there. That should be pretty good. And then we'll merge both of them together. Awesome. And go like that and go like that. Very good. Now... What we need to do, we need to work out how we're going to do this. <laughs> so let's grab a few wedges out and we're going to go upside down along like this maybe. So how far out is that from the body? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go four. Uh, can we put one in there? No, we can't. Yes, we can. Awesome. So we'll come out four from the body and then we're going to go back to this page. We're going to need some of these. So let's come down like, can I? Yep, something like this. Awesome. And then we're going to have a space for the engine to sit right there. So let's just worry about the top of this first and we'll come back and do the rest. So let's allow five blocks for the engine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, something like that. Awesome. And then we'll just keep on going. So we might go with one like that and then we're going to go a four block break. So we'll go one, two, three, four, like so. Then we're going to put another section in and we're going to come angle back a little bit more. Then we might go another four block break. Yeah, oh, can I just do this one, please? There we go. And then we might do that once more and then we'll see how wide it is after that. So we'll come in like that, get rid of those and we'll go another four blocks. Whoop, awesome. Because the wings on these things aren't all that swept back. Like they are a little bit sort of similar to that, I suppose. I don't mind the look at that actually. And then we might just do one more lot of these pyramids. Just go like this and then that will be the end of the wing. Maybe we can just round it off with a couple little baby pyramids, something like that. That'll be fine and we'll sort that out in a minute. Let's do the bottom of the wing first, the same as we've done the top. Okay, so that is the underside of the front of the wing done. Now we need to do the back of it and then we're going to fill it all in. So maybe we could grab some one by four wedges and maybe can we fit that on there? Yes, we can. We'll go on there. We'll bring that over to where the engine's going to be. Very good. And then we might just use a few blocks just so we can get to the other side for a moment. Just go across like that. And then I was thinking, do we have some... Oh, we do have these big wing pieces. Maybe we can use a couple of these as well, except we're going to have to come back out a couple of blocks first. Now, can we fit one of these in? Let's see... They go right there. Yeah, that'll fit pretty well just there. What if we put a few of those in? So maybe we can just bring that across for a moment. Then we'll grab this back out again. Turn it around this way. And we'll go one, two, three, four of them. Or maybe we'll just go three. I don't think we're going to need more than that. And then we can start coming in on an angle again. That'll be all right. Um, so we'll grab a couple of wedges. And we'll go along. Can I not do that? Uh, just come up to there. Let's try the wedges again. <laughs> uh, we'll go like this. Okay. So what if we bring that all the way to there? So that will be like the whole wing. They look a little bit narrow, don't they? Oh, I don't mind that, actually. We'll see how we go. And we'll just fill in that little piece like this. And then underneath here on this level, we can have a control surface. That would be pretty cool. Uh, well, let's just finish off up here. So this is the area for the engine. So we'll get rid of all of that. It can all go. Very good. Nice. 
and then we'll just fill in up to there. Okay, that sort of looks like it's joined onto the plane too. That's good. Then we'll go along like that. Awesome. And we're going to do, oh, well, this wing may hold fuel as well. Okay, we'll see how we go. We won't fill in the bottom of that just yet. Let's just work out how we're going to do the end of the wing and put the control surface in. Then we might make a little area for the engines. And then we're going to end off today's episode. Uh, so what we might do, if we go and grab an inverse pyramid, we'll chuck that right on the end there. Then we'll come across one more block. And then maybe we can just put another wedge on the bottom there. That'll be all right. And then we're going to do a similar sort of thing here. Or actually, what we could do under here, let's get rid of all of that. We might put an inverse pyramid one by two in like so. Very good. And then on the end of the wing, we might just have some little one by one wedges on there. That doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that at all. And then we're going to fill in all of this along like that to there. Boom. Block that off. Awesome. I like it. And then we're going to do a similar thing all the way along the wing. So we're going to come along like that. Now, what we do need to do here is actually put a little one by four in. We need to do something of this area. Go like that. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Actually, I don't mind that. So we'll do this, come in like that. And then we need some room for the control surface. Let's chuck one of them in real quick. Uh, medium? No, nah, definitely a small one. <laughs> so whereabouts can we put them? If we just chuck them close to the end, as far out as possible, if we just go in like that should be fine. But we might actually make it stick out one more block. That's probably a good idea. So we go like this, grab it again, and chuck it right here. Just like that. That's not too bad at all. Sitting very close to the outside of the wing, and I like that. So we might just get rid of this, put a little wedge in like that, and go along to there. Now, I'm not too sure if we're going to have fuel stored in the wing yet or not. We may have a little bit of room underneath as well. I don't really know. But for now, I would like to just leave that for a moment while I work out where we're going to put this engine. So if we come across like this, we might make it come up one block. Yeah, and we'll do the same thing over here. Come up one, get rid of that piece in the middle. We don't need that there. Um, we're just going to make the shell of where it's going to sit and then we're going to put the actual jet engine in next episode So if we come along like this, yeah, that's not too bad and we're going to do a similar thing over here Try and keep it the same and then with the front of it Maybe we can come up a couple of blocks like this we might come out one more should be fine Then we're going to grab one of these and we'll stick it right there And we'll get one of these ones put it on the bottom of that and that will allow us to come down a little bit more Okay, it's not too bad. Then we'll come along like this. Yes, okay I don't mind. Let's do the same thing on this side as well all right, just like this. And then maybe we can grab one of these and we'll start coming up towards the front. Actually, that'll be as far as it can stick out. Actually, I like that. Turn these around as well. Boop, awesome. And then, ooh, this is a bit tricky now. <laughs> it's getting too advanced for me. Let's come up with some of these. We'll fill in what we can down there. And then we are going to have the landing gear retract up into these here as well. So we need to save a bit of room for that. But for now, we're just going to close it off so we can see the kind of shape that we got going. So now we're going to need some more of these ones. Let's come up like this. We'll come up a couple of blocks like this maybe. We've got to do the same on this side. So one, two. And then we need to get ready to end it off at the top there, don't we? So let's come up like that. Okay, let's keep on coming along. Can I just get that to go that way? Cool. We need to make sure we do the same on this side. Let's go along like so. Fill in all of this with one of those. And then this is the tricky bit. So we're going to need a two by two. We'll fill in that area. Except we want it to come in a bit. So maybe can we go like that? Yeah, all right. And we'll do the same thing over here. Come like this. Yes. And a couple of these. Let's see what we can do here. Go around like that and like this. Now we just need to work out what we're going to do here. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. We've got some fake looking ports there to let air in. We may actually have to have a hole there somewhere for the air for the jet engine. But we'll see how we go. But for now, I think that looks pretty good. So let's come up like this. And then we're going to have a pipe sitting on the end of there going to the actual propeller itself. That is looking awesome. I really like this. That looks super cool. And now we need to work out what we're going to do on the top. So maybe for the front of it. Oh, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? Let's grab another block. Let's just fill this in for a moment. We'll grab a wedge. I want this to kind of slowly come back and then kind of go on a nice angle down. So how are we going to go about this? Maybe, okay, it's going to cause a little bit of overhang. But let's see if this will look okay. We can go like that. Oh, it's a bit messy, isn't it? I don't know if I'm happy with that. There's a little bit too much going on here for my liking, but I think I don't know what else I can really do. Um, we might leave it for now. Let's put a propeller on the end and see what it looks like. So just an aircraft propeller should be fine. So we'll grab one of these and we'll just chuck it right on there. Very good. Oh, that is looking super cool. We might just make these slightly bigger too. Oh, we can't change the size of these. Um, we have to use something else then. Maybe a rotor end light. What if we chuck one of these on? Will that look okay? Turn it around that way. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll leave it with that and we'll make these slightly bigger. What if we go up to maybe 80%? Yeah, okay, let's try that. And we'll go up to 80 on this side too. Oh, 81, 80, cool. That is looking super cool. I really like that. 
Hopefully there's enough room to actually get into the, the plate itself. Maybe we should move these wings back a little bit. I wonder if that's not a bad idea. We'll leave them like that for now. Let's just finish it off. So let's just keep on coming back like this all the way to about there. If I just get rid of that piece, we don't need that there. And we're going to need some smaller wedges to go along like this all the way to there. That isn't looking too bad. It's a little bit tall, but I think it looks pretty cool, actually. I like it. So maybe under here, what we could probably do, if we grab a little pyramid and we'll chuck it right here and we'll come up a couple of blocks like that, maybe. We're going to do the same on this side. Boom, boom. Can we come up a couple, please? Yep, just like that. Awesome. Get rid of all of these. And then we are going to need a few of these to fill in there. So we can go like that. That'll come out one more block. I think that's kind of what we want. And then we'll just chuck a couple of these in like so. Boom. And we'll come up to there too. Okay, put one more on there. Nice. We'll put a little wedge in. And that will just go like this. And we'll put one more on top. And then we somehow need this to connect up to there. So maybe we could use one of these. That'd be all right. Okay, that actually works. Nice. To another one around that way. Very good. And then I suppose we're just going to have to come up with some... One by fours, which come up like this on both sides, obviously. And then we're going to need a two by four. We'll fit in that area. Awesome. One there as well. And maybe the top of this can end off before it gets there. That's not a bad idea. So maybe if we go a little one by four like that. And then on top of this, we might chuck one of those like that. And then another one right there. And then we have to fill in with this with something, don't we? So we just put a couple of these in. Be all right. Very good. So that looks sealed off. That's good. And then we might just come down with a couple of these little wedges, I suppose, like that. And then we just got a little end here to worry about. So what are we going to do with this piece? I think maybe we should get rid of those few and we'll just fill this in. And then we'll come up three blocks like that and chuck a couple of wedges on the top. That is what I would call a finished looking engine shell. It doesn't look too bad at all. Alrighty, guys, so I think the last thing I want to do today is quickly kind of make it look like the wings are half connected to this thing. That would be ideal. So what we might do, we'll get rid of a few of these up until there, because that's the close as you can see. And then we're just going to fill that in with a couple of blocks along there. Very good. We'll just fill in the floor too, and that will do. Now, we need to come back a few blocks. We need to make this connect up with there somehow. So what we could do, we might grab one of these and we'll chuck it right there so that looks like it's connected up to the wing and then we're going to need a two by four so we'll chuck that right there and that will meet up with underneath here won't it yes very good and then we'll chuck another wedge in like that awesome so that sort of looks half connected too that's good and then under here we're going to grab some more wedges just come along like this all right that looks good i like it um, we are not going to fill in underneath the wings or underneath here just yet because I don't know where the pipe's going to be from the engine. So we're going to leave it open just for now. I also don't know if we're going to store fuel in the wings or not. We'll have to see how high the floor is going to be inside, which we'll worry about in the next video. But for now, we're just going to do a similar thing on the front here too. So maybe we just get rid of a couple of bits in there and we're going to try and do the same thing we've done on the back. So all of this can go and we might even get rid of that little wedge there. So it's the same as the back. So we'll chuck one of these in like this. Turn it around the right way would be excellent. Something like that. Great. And we need to make a little bit more room, I think. I don't know. We'll grab a two by four. Come off there like that and come up. Yep. Uh, nope. <laughs> come up like this. Let's get rid of those ones. And then we'll just get a few more wedges to come along like that. Very good. So we can fill in all of this. And they can actually go, I think. So we'll put some more along like that. That looks a little bit better. We do have a little hole just there, which we could... Just quickly go and fill in. So we'll fill that in and boom, boom. Awesome. So that is all sealed and that is all finished under there. Awesome. Very good. So let's save that, spawn it in and see what it looks like. It is looking pretty good. I really like it. I'm keen to make the wings kind of angle up a little bit and chuck some landing gear on next episode. Should make it look pretty good. Um, so for now, guys, that might do us for today. Like I said, next episode, the jet engines are going in. We're going to sort out the fuel tanks, get a door, some landing gear, and get it close to being able to fly. So that should be pretty exciting. So stay tuned for that. But for now, guys, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.